Hello everyone and welcome back to another Planet Crafter Let's Show video. Now this is Future Me talking and yes, you may have seen other videos of this of me starting off on this world with hardly anything or with it being barren red and such or it's still evolving and so forth. This is just only a, like a little sneak peek of what you will see eventually. Now, obviously you're going to see this, you know, me go through this step by step. When I say step by step, you're going to see me go through it. It, like the evolution of this planet and see how far it goes and see it come all the way to this now it may take a long while for you to actually see me how i got to this stage how i actually got to the point where i don't need to worry about oxygen and i've got trees and that you'll see how I planted these all got butterflies bugs and such how i built all the stuff and so forth and etc etc so you will get to see all that, but obviously you won't see them for, you know, some of this for like quite a long while, and I do mean quite a long while. But you will see it as the videos go on and that, but I thought I'd just give you a sneak peek in what you could possibly see in the future and that. Yes, there will be more trees in this bar um, eventually, but anyway, this is just what I've done so far and what I've actually made. Like, you know, I've made lots of butterfly biome domes. Obviously, butterfly farms. I also made some beehives. And I also, you know, just create this small part into a, I don't know, forest? Yeah, something like that. I still got much to, you know, um, plant out here. Obviously, I've made a little um, adjustments to my base and moved my computer room to this tower here. So I made it sort of like a radar tower and such. Um, so yeah, and here will be when the fish come along. Um, will be my aquarium. It's still, I'm still a long way off from getting the fish, but I will eventually have them, and it, this will turn into my aquarium area, and I will have to all like the fish stuff and so forth, and I will do the same with the other areas. I also have um, teleporters as well, so I can actually get to point A to point B very quickly. Obviously, I only got four of them up, so they're not all over the place. Well, they are in different areas of the place, uh, but they're not like in every single base because. One, uh, to take up a lot of power. Not that it's a problem, but also I'm a little bit scarce on pulsar quartz at the moment until I get to the point where I can make them or when another meteorite hits. Because usually that's quite handy to have. I want to show you all the bases. I want to show you like this base, like base one, and the farm area where it's just evolved and that. I mean, obviously here I put some trees on the front, but I was very careful how I went about this because having tree spreaders tier three let's just say they do spread far and wide so I had to put them way out there just to make sure they didn't get in the way of my base and such I mean I don't mind having trees in my base but at the same time I don't want them blocking my doorways or blocking my way of walking and such so it's it wasn't necessary you know yeah excuse the glitchy lights um, here hasn't changed much obviously the only thing that's probably changed is this here because there's no there used to be a computer room here but all oh, that's moved to the tower but um, I will show you the farm area because that's the area that's really um, also evolved. Not as evolved as much as the um, base one, but here um, the, you can tell why I call this a farm area because obviously you've got lots of butterfly flowers, my golden butterflies. Yes, I decided to let them out. There were domes. Um, you've got my beehives here. You've got this here. You've got my um, other things here. Now I will put more trees here. It's just that it's going to take a little while because obviously it's a big lake to cover. And at the same time, I have to sort of like figure out um, where and when to put them. No, sorry, not where and when. Just only where to put them so that they don't, you know, overcrowd the ships and such. Because I've got to be careful that they don't grow into the ships and such. But yeah, here's had a little bit of um, like some evolution here. Like I'm growing things like beans, mushrooms because I need the plastics, um, eggplants because I need the so compost soil. I also got my farming things still going on up there and such. So nothing much has changed on the inside. It's just mostly on the outside that it's evolved. But yeah, you've got lots of um, bugs in it. I mean, this game has bugs, you know? <laughs> but, yeah. Li <laughs> that was a bad joke, I know. But, um, yeah, as you can tell, nothing's changed here. Still the same old, same old. But, it's just the outside that's mostly changed. But the, um, yeah, I do actually like how this base is. I am proud of um, how I've done, obviously, base one. I mean, that was my first starting base. And it's tends to be one of my top favorites even though yes I, I do like um, the lab that I made and such because I feel proud of that you'll see that in the future videos how I made that lab and you actually get to see more of it um, you also get to see me build this tower up how I made that as well and you also get to see how far I actually 
evolve on this game as well how I evolved and such and how it came to this area how I found like you know the artifacts and so forth I'm not gonna say anymore because I don't want to spoil too much of my videos I think I've already have but hey sue me but yeah I just want to show the progress that I'm making on this game and just say hey get a look and even just try and say to you lot you know try this game out it's definitely worth giving it a shot especially that especially when it's in its early stages you get to see what they're doing and such like that and they're still working on new things and such and it's just really quite good yeah at the moment actually to say quite good is an understatement I'm actually beyond impressed by it but even though yeah you some people can say oh it looks all basic and such but this is just the beginning of it you know they're probably just working on more and more and more and more and it will eventually evolve and you know what it can't, it's kind of like this game itself the actual game, the name Planet Crafter, you know, it's kind of like the planet. You're trying to make the planet evolve. You're making the planet evolve so it can be a breathable atmosphere, have trees and etc. etc. And that's what the developers are doing with this game. They're trying to evolve the game to make it look great for you, to make to put things to interest you and such like that. Just to make it into a full-fledged game and so forth. You know? So really, this game and the developers have a lot in common. Because it's about evolving and they are working on it and they actually as this game evolves they're putting new stuff in evolving with the game sort of thing if that makes sense so yeah but i do highly recommend you lot you know especially all you sci-fi nerds and crafted nerds out there and i'm a nerd myself so don't worry if you like all this all the subnautica stuff all the astroneer stuff give this a shot you know give it a shot I mean, even if it's just giving it a two hour shot and you just say, all right, I'll give it a shot, I want my money back, da da da, you know, that's fine, you know, just give it, just give it your best shot, you know, see what you feel. But I would definitely say to those of you who've never tried this, I would say you won't be disappointed. It is really quite a good game. And yeah, all right, I know I'm easy to impress, but at the same time, I, even I have my expectations, and this game has kept me occupied for quite a long while. I mean, seriously. It is such a good game, and yes, it, it, there is a lot to keep you occupied uh, for a while. And yes, you will find yourself coming at an impasse where you go, well, what do I do now? But eventually, there will be a lot of things to do, because, like I said, the developers are working on it. The Ain't Long added things like drones and fish. They probably will add more into it. So, yeah, I would say definitely give this game a shot. Definitely try out in its early access stages and see what happens. But, yeah, it is tons of fun to play, and I highly recommend it. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed what I'm showing so far. Until then, you all, you all take it easy. And, as always, peace out.